In labor economics and labor statistics, there are two main categories of employment. There's wage employment and self-employment. But recently, there's been increased recognition that there are people who are neither fully independent or fully dependent, who are now being called by the International Conference of Labor Statisticians, being called dependent contractors. Two examples. One is Uber drivers. They own their own car, but they depend on the platform to get the gig, to set the price, to set the route. So they seem to be self-employed, but they're really dependent. Unlike the self-employed, whom they are often misclassified as, the relationships between the dependent contractors and those who contract them are an important focus of policy because those relationships need to be uh, regulated. And unlike wage workers in factories or firms where there's a clear employer and the employee, the relationship, the disguised employment relationship with the dependent contractor is not so visible. So labor regulators need to be able to understand all the layers in a supply chain that has dependent contractors in it to be able to make sure that they're integrated on fair terms. Mm -hmm.